hi all today we will be discussing about the signs and symptoms of diabetes so what are the symptoms and signs of diabetes unlike previously thought previous teaching was that we diagnose diabetes when the patient presents with classical symptoms along with the random blood sugar more than 200 presently patients can present without any symptoms as well but that doesn't mean that we can but that doesn't mean that we can not remember the symptoms the symptoms are one polyuria or increased urination increased frequency of urination is one of the most common symptoms seen in the patients second is there is polyuria so naturally there is going to be an increased intake of water that is increased uh, water intake or increased thirst is there so that is the second symptom then third symptom is weight loss there is an increased weight loss but along with weight loss the fourth symptom that is seen is increased food intake or polyphagia the patient is unable to bring himself to stop taking food so that is the fourth symptom these are considered the classical symptoms then comes the other symptoms especially in females can present with irritation, fatigability, and lethargy like that. Then other symptoms include itching, frequent skin infections. Then coming on, wound healing. One of the common way we detect the diabetes is the patient can present with recurrent wounds, recurrent infection, especially foot infections that tend not to heal. And on checking the sugars, they are found to be high. The FBS or the random blood sugar or the PPBS is found to be high in these patients. Then recurrent boils can be seen. So we have mentioned five, five, uh, five symptoms. And then the other symptoms include tingling and numbness. Tingling, numbness or paresthesia over the skin, over the arms. The characteristic pattern that is seen in diabetes is a glove and stocking. That is uh, particularly seen in the palm of the hand and the foot of the foot. In these areas, you get a tingling and numbness. That is, you get a electric shock-like sensation or you get a feeling of reduced sensation or a feeling of increased sensation can be seen in these patients with neuropathy. Then uh, coming to, then the late complications can be present. Some patients can present in the late stage. That is early asymptomatic phase can pass and then some five years can pass with the patient having only frothy urine and finally the patient can present in a stage of nephropathy that is in kidney failure we get to see patients like that also then the other symptoms include the macrovascular complications the macrovascular complications includes uh, you can get heart attacks mi then strokes these are the macrovascular complications of stroke so Diabetes can present as asymptomatic or the patient can present with microvascular or macrovascular complication. Then one important symptom is blurring of vision. The patient can have other than old age cataract, elderly, can, elderly or even the young patients with diabetes can uh, present with diabetic retinopathy. So the complications include diabetic retinopathy, nephropathy, diabetic neuropathy. So these are the complications. When we mention symptoms, you also have to know of the complications of diabetes. Then coming to the uh, coming to the uh, diagnosis. When the symptoms are there, you have to go to a doctor and get uh, see the doctor and get diagnosed as a patient with diabetes and get proper follow-up and proper management of this disease. So that is all. Thank you. Thank you, Diabetopedia, and there for giving me this opportunity.